Hi Snowflakers! Thanks for coming to watch my first YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make snowflakes. Today we're going to look at how to make this snowflake, which is a flower snowflake. And it's one of my favorite patterns because it's very simple and anyone can learn how to do it. And it's also very fun to use to think about symmetry and fractions. And it's a great one to do with little kids or grown-ups um, who are thinking about fractions. And I'm going to unfold it slowly so you can see that's one symmetry. And then this is the other. So this is like a petal. And then we unfold it. And you can see that it is a flower. And again, this might look complex or maybe not, but it's a super great pattern to start with and fun um, to learn. So I'll fold that back up again. And now it's time to get started making snowflakes. So the first step to making snowflakes is kind of boring and it is folding paper. And even though this might not be the most exciting part of the process, it's very important to do it as precisely as possible because if your folds are really sharp and precise, it's more fun to cut, to cut the paper later. All right, so the first step is if you have um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you're going to fold it into squares. You could start with square paper, but that's not something most people have around the house. And also I find that the eight and a half by 11 paper has a really nice weight to it whereas like some origami paper is a little bit too thin. So first you're going to fold the corner here to there to make a square. And you wanna to try to make sure that this is precise as possible. All right, so I got a really nice sharp corner there and I can see that everything is lining up along this edge and that's just what you wanna look for. And then when I fold this, here, I want to try to make sure that there's no kind of bubbles or anything like that. Great. So now I've got my square, which is good. And I'm going to cut here and you will see that it is a square. great use for this so if anyone has one let me know and then unfolding it we can see it's a square all right so now we have our paper folded in half and we're going to fold it in half again to make quarters all right and so then we can unfold it we can see we have one two three four panels Now, I have found that, you know, you've got a lot of options here. We could go for A's, we could go for, um, you know, people do fifths, sixths, twelfths, um, sixteenths, um, all sorts of options. You could do ace just by folding it in half again. But I found that the nicest thing to do is um, twelfths. And to do that, we're going to take our fourths and fold it into thirds. And so three times four is twelve, so that will give us twelve panels. There's a couple different tricks for how to fold something into thirds online. The thing that I have found best is kind of just to guess or to take out a ruler and measure. And I like to use a previous snowflake that I've prepped <laughs> just to fold it. And you line it up and fold it there. And that should give us pretty good thirds. And then you fold the other part over. And this one is not perfect, but oh well. Anyways, and so that's what your 
um, paper will look like when it's done. If you cut it into squares beforehand, you'll get these sort of two little cattails up there. And you can go and cut them off now, or you can cut them off later. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And now, when we unfold this, we can see that this is 12 panels. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And when we're thinking about how we're cutting our snowflake and how we're making um, the different symmetries, we have a couple different ways that our snowflake can be symmetrical. So it can be symmetrical half by halves, by quarters, um, and then again by twelves, right? So this panel too. So there's a lot of different ways that you can think about the symmetry and play with it. Okay, so now that's done. That's not the very exciting part. Uh, and now we can get started with cutting the paper. So um, Usually when I do cutting for the videos, I just do a freehand because I think it's a lot more fun and I really encourage you all to try that on your own. Um, but for this video, since I'm making a really specific pattern and sometimes it can be nice to just have a, a pattern, I'm just going to trace it. So here's my pattern from earlier and I'm just going to quickly... Trace this pattern onto my snowflake, so I'm going to line up those edges to make sure that it's all working out, and grab a pen. And you can make your flower as thick or as thin as you want it to be. Um, and play around with the dimensions because it's all kind of interesting. And you can also play around with cutting off the edge at the bottom because that will give you sort of a star shape at the bottom if you cut it off and if you leave it, it'll just be full. And there's what my pattern looks like. See, so it's just two circles. And we're going to get to the only real rule in snowflake cutting. Um, and the only real rule with snowflakes is that you really have to leave some of both edges on each side. And that's really important because if you don't do that, the snowflake will just, right, fall apart. And I can show you what will happen when you do that with this, um, here's this snowflake that I have prepped and you can see what happens if you have a snowflake where you just cut through the edges. So, right, so I don't leave any edge here. And you can see that the whole thing, when I go to unfold it, just falls apart, right? So I have all these little panels as six because I cut one edge off. And if I cut both edges off, I would have 12 little panels. Um, so, you know, if you want to make triangles, you can make triangles, but if you want to make a snowflake, you really just want to make sure you leave a little bit of each edge attached. So back to cutting, and this is the best part. Um, and for cutting, I think it can be nice to try to keep uh, keep your snowflake, like hold it, try to keep it so that things are really symmetrical and the layers don't shift around. But you know, it's also you know, it doesn't have to be super precise. That's part of what's fun about it. Okay. And then you go around and you cut the middle. I actually had to prepare two of these. This is the second one that I did because the first one I made, um, I made a mistake. I cut cut it too thin and it fell apart. So okay. And so this is what it looks like, you know, cut again. And I will go ahead and unfold that.
And you can see here we have that symmetry of the pair and then half and then six. And that's what our snowflake looks like, the flower snowflake. You can see it's like even a little bit different than the one I made earlier. Um, and um, pretty easy to make, fun to think about symmetry, and there's lots of building exercises that you can do just with thinking about these sorts of shapes. Uh, and so next week I will maybe get a video with some of those other shapes. So thanks for watching uh, and please feel free to, you know, send me any of the snowflakes that you make from this video and let me know if you sort of um, had your own ideas. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.